back to my channel. For those of you that are new, what's up? My name's Michelle. Today we're gonna get into something hot. Yeah, hot. Summer's coming. So we're gonna dip into our Naked Heat palette. We're gonna see what look we can come up with today. Uh, summer's approaching very fast, you know, so we're gonna get ready. But before we get into the video, I just wanna remind you guys, hit the like and subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you wanna be notified first when I upload new videos. Quick shout out to all of my subscribers. We've hit over 400 subscribers now and I'm excited. I know it might not seem like a lot because there's people with millions of subscribers, but it means the world to me and I really appreciate you guys. So let's just get straight into this video. All right, well, we don't wanna be here too long, but we did prep our face and we did our eyebrows because it takes too long to do eyebrows. We're gonna just go in with the Fenty Beauty Primer and we're just gonna prime our face, you know. I'm gonna just get in there. I love this primer because it is a bit tacky, but who doesn't want something tacky? You know we want our foundation to stick. I want my face to be painted on. Today we're gonna be using our Maybelline 24 Hour Superstay foundation this has become one of my drugstore favorites like i'm so in love i'm so weird so don't pay me no mind we're just gonna buff that in using our y6 really quick look how thick that is like i feel like i just put huda on my face and we know that huda beauty foundation is full coverage me, I love a good full coverage foundation. I have like the world's worst dark circles, so I want to hide everything. And I do have a little bit of um, redness going on in certain places. I think I put on too much foundation, but it's all right. We're gonna make it work. Like I said, we painted on. Holy shit, we got it all up in our eyebrow. Excuse my language. So yeah, we're gonna get that in there. Now I do have a summer get ready with me video, so you guys can check that out as well. But again, summer is approaching fast, and if you're like me, I wear a million colors in the summertime, you know? You wear colors because you don't want to wear black and be hot, because black is my favorite color. All my clothes are black. Oh shoot, we got foundation all over. Holy shoot. Now we're just going to go in with our ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Yes, yes, yes. I love this concealer and it's cheap and affordable. So that makes it all the much better because, you know, not everybody got money to get on your forehead. Do a little sunset vibe on top of the forehead. Mm-hmm. Now I'm going to use my beauty blender as I love to use my beauty blender when I am doing my concealer. I use a brush too, but I feel like I blend it out better with my beauty blender. That's just my personal preference. You don't have to do that. You can use a brush. A brush. A brush. If you do use a brush. Kind of sound like I said brush, but mm-hmm. Was it intentional? So we just gonna buff that in, buff that in. We want our face ready. Ready now. A lot of people don't like to put on a lot of makeup during summertime, so you don't have to do all of this. I'm sure you can just put on a concealer, you know. But in summertime, we always go on a barbecues. We always going in with our friends, you know. Living our best life, so. Sometimes you might want to paint on a full face. And if you do, then this video is for you, my friend. Now, we're just going to go on with some Fit Me powder. This is the Matte and Poreless powder. It's in translucent shade. So, we're going to just put this under our eyes where we concealed. Everywhere we used concealer. We know this 
let's go let's metify because we don't want to be dewy because in the summer it's hot and we know we sweat a lot girl i'll be sweating in between my thighs which is the worst just throw some baby powder there and you'll be all right i heard deodorant works i haven't tried it but maybe i will this summer who knows i got big thick thighs and you know <sighs> your girl be a mess so I'm just going to quickly even just go over the other places all over really quickly. Just all over, all over, all over. If you hear any banging, they're totally fixing the apartment next door. And I hear banging all day, every day. I'll be screaming and yelling at these people. But we got to let them do their job, you know? We got to let them do their job. I'm going to go in with my Fenty Matchstick. This is in the shade Amber. So I'm just going to... Use this, you know, you know, and we're gonna use this to contour. I don't have a big forehead, so I don't necessarily have to put too much on my forehead, but I do have a fat chin, you know, double chin going on, so we want to hide that, and I have a big bulbous nose, so we want to hide that too. Well, we don't want to hide it, I'm proud of my big nose, but. Sometimes, you know, mess with a girl's confidence. It's all right. We'll live. Big nose and all. Now, this amber um, matchstick is a cool tone. Usually, I'm more of a warm tone girl. But I can go in with a cool tone sometimes because I think it does actually darken... You don't put that shadow there where we want to place our shadows and contour. Again, I don't have a big forehead, so I don't go too hard with that. But we, oh my God, you see they ruining our video. Like, hello? Dude, I buff this in with my nose. I mean, with my nose. Yeah, I buff this in with my nose. I use my fingers. To just lightly buff this out, snatch that nose, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we like that, don't we like that? Now, I'm just gonna go in quickly with some butter bronzer. This is my favorite bronzer because it smells so good. It's a compartment, and it does come with this little brush that I have never used in my life. And I don't think I ever want to use it. Oh, holy moly, we forgot our contour brush. Here's my contour brush. We got her. I mean contour brush. Bronzer brush. I'm all over the place today. Sheesh. And we're just going to put some warmth back in here using this butter bronzer. You know? So who's ready for all these barbecues? Because I'm going to be everybody's cousin this summer. Cousin! Welcome to the barbecue. Can I get some food? You know? I'm going to be a hungry girl this summer. I don't know about you guys, but I don't know. I tend to not eat in the summer as much. I'm like backwards. I lose weight during the summer and then I gain it back during winter because you know i'm more hibernated and home so yeah i'm a hot mess i'm supposed to lose weight in the winter so you summer already but the summer is gonna get what i have to give my chunky self and that's what we're gonna give it boom now that we got ourselves all bronzed up nice and pretty just we're gonna just go in with a little bit of blush now, I have this Morphe Warm Palette, the 8W, oops, but I'm debating on whether to go in with this MUA shade or this provocative shade. I just want to go in with this because this is why I bought it, but these three up here do have a shimmer. If you can see that, they're all beautiful. Like, you cannot go wrong with Morphe Blush. We're going to go into... Since the eyes is going to be out there, we're just going to go into that MUA shade. Whatever. We're going to go. Mm 
Mm -hmm. And we're gonna pull that back into our bronzer. Get a smile again. Holy shoot, I forgot to tap it off, so I put it all over, but we're going to blend that out. I actually, like, dude. Well, we fixed that real quick, you know? I just like to go in with the beauty blender, you know, because we like to cut that and keep that, that line right there. So I just go back in with that same beauty blender because that's what we use for our concealer. So you know we can just tighten that line. Snatch. Alright, now that we got that done, what we're going to do is go into our eyes. Before we go into eyes, I'm going to put some more powder on my eyes. You know, you know. Just hold any fallout that might come out. Boom. Now, we love a blush, girl. A lot of people... I used to never like blush, but after a while, it grew on me. It was like, oh, cute, rosy cheeks, you know? So, what we're going to do is we're going to go in first with this low blow shade. This low blow shade on our Morphe. E23, and we're going to use that as our transition shade. Tap it off, tap it off. You know, make sure you get a good amount of product on your brush all over. And then we're just going to go in. Bam! So now that we got our transition shade down, we're going to go in with this cayenne shade. And we're going to just use our... Morphe M433, yes, yes, yes. And we're gonna just take that cayenne shade, tap, 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 and we're gonna just put that in the crease. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take our M411, which is a crease brush, and we're gonna go in with this ashes shade right here. And we're gonna just darken the outer corner up. So again, ashes is what we are using. Okay, so now that we got our little crease, you know, filled over there with our ashes shade, it's gonna darken this up a little more. Because I bring it towards the middle, just a quarter of the way. I pull it up into the crease, you know, make it dark. Again, we did use it to pull it down into our lower lash line. We want to make those colors come together. Now what we're going to do is we are just going to use the shade Scorched, which is this beautiful shade right here. I'm going to go in with a brush. And we're going to spray that. Don't forget to spray because you always want maximum pigment. And we're just going to put that on our lid. You see that? Mm. Boom. So now that we have that laid down on both sides, we ready for summer. No. <laughs> Just plan, just plan. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little, little brush. This is our E36 Morphe brush. And we're gonna go in with this shade called Ounce. Pigmented, pigmented. And we're gonna mix it a little with this Dirty Talk shade. So I'm gonna go in with both of them. And we're gonna take that into the inner corner. So again, that's mixed, ounce, and dirty talk. And we're going to just take that under our brow bone. Boom. Shiny. Shiny, 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 shiny. 
all of this money. I've been losing my mind. So make sure you pack that up in there, you know, don't be scared. We want that little inner corner to shine. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do right now is just wipe away some of the fallout that came down. That's why we put that powder there to save ourselves. And then what I'm going to do is just take this little smudger brush. And we're going to go back in with the cayenne color. And we're just going to smudge this. Smoke it. Smoke it out. I use a smudger brush because my brushes always have multiple uses. Like I've said before, and because I feel like it places the pigment and it's dense enough to pack it in there. And then it's also a little soft to where it can blend out nicely and smoke out my lower lash. So now that we got that going on, boom, boom, boom. I'm just going to go back in with that 30E36. And that dirty talk and ounce and put it under this brow bone. Now what I'm going to do is just take a smaller fluffy brush real quick. Sorry, I have to look down because I have everything here in front of me. And I'm just going to take this smaller fluffy brush and I'm going to go in with that low blow, the transition shade we use. And I'm just going to buff it above here the top here and make sure that we have no harsh lines okay low blue I'm gonna buff that no harsh lines no harsh lines okay I did bring it a little down here but no worries we cleaned that up really quick just like that and boom now we're just gonna take some Wet n Wild Mega Liner, which is my favorite eyeliner in the world. I've been using this for years, and it's only $3. Your girl knows how to budget. I'm gonna grab my mirror, and I'm just gonna line my eyes very quickly. It takes like nothing to do with it, bam. Bam. This one's totally fudged up. Excuse me. But that's what happens when you try to do things very fast and you try to rush. It'll never be perfect. And then I'm just going to take this little wet and wild pencil that I have in black. And we're going to put that in our waterline. Boom. Boom, then we're gonna take our mascara, which is this mega volume from Wet n Wild. And we're just gonna put on some mascara. Now that we have our mascara on, I'm unsure what color I wanna go in with. I have this color right here, but then I have this MAC lipstick that I feel like it'll just pop, pop. Pop, 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 but we're gonna use this. It's an Odess liquid lip. I don't know the name of it because unfortunately they didn't have a name on it. So, shout out to them, but it smells so good. And we're just gonna put that on. All right, so now that we've sprayed our MAC Fix Plus, this is our final look. This is a look. What do you guys think? I'm satisfied and I love it. Only thing I'm upset about is I messed up this little wing over here. But no biggie. Naked Urban Decay Heat Palette. You are one of my favorite out of the four or five that they have in the Naked set. This baby is amazing. Perfect for summer. Perfect for fall. Yeah, just perfect. I do also have a little bit of mascara that came down and touched from the bottom lash. 
but that's no biggie I can clean that up with a little wipe and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed chilling with me and hanging out you know getting summer ready getting ready for the heat but I'm in love with this look the Morphe blushes are just amazing and everything that I use today is kind of my normal routine as far as base foundation concealer so i hope you guys enjoyed this look and i'll see you next time one more thing guys i did forget to put on my highlighter which i'm surprised because that's my favorite part of my look always but i used the maybelline molten gold master chrome highlight and bam there's the look see you guys next time no, I, I can't be responsible, responsible.